Hey everybody, Shoebox Legends here. Thanks for joining me for another episode today. I'm going to take a look at two pickups that I made recently that I think are very, very significant for my collection. Um, they're a, a player who, in my personal opinion, is the most dominating athlete on the globe in any sport right now in terms of being, you know, heads and tails above his peers on a nightly basis when he's playing, and that is Connor McDavid. So I really have enjoyed collecting him. Um, was fortunate enough to pull his Young Guns rookie card myself from a pack back in 2015. So kind of got that jump start that I needed to have, you know, a decent McDavid collection. And what I've been doing in the meantime, obviously, you know, I'm not the only person that has noticed that he is the greatest, you know, athlete in hockey by a long shot. So he's gotten quite popular. And there are a lot of big time, you know, McDavid collectors who can, you know, spend thousand dollars or more on patch cards you know on a regular basis i'm not that type of collector at all so what i try to do is look for more reasonable low-hanging fruit type examples that i can get for you know less than a hundred bucks and sometimes dramatically less than a hundred bucks that um, i think will be nice cards down the line as his career progresses you know maybe they're not rookies but um, they're cool for reasons that i'll get into so um, have been successful lately with two different pickups on the McDavid front that I'm really proud of. And there's kind of a little bit of a, a story behind each. So uh, the first one, there's not a ton of backstory here, but it's one of my favorite parallels, arguably my single favorite parallel in the modern hockey card market. And so we'll look at the card in a second. But, um, you know, before we even get to that, I, what was cool about this one was the packaging that this came in. So the cardboard that this one was protected in had a handwritten note on it. Sick card was torn to auction, but can't keep them all. Thank you. Blah, blah, blah. Not, not really sure what the guy's name was. D D27, DMX, something like that. So anyway, I just thought that was a funny note. It's not every day that you see a uh, sick card note on the protection, you know, the cardboard protection that's included with your eBay win. Uh, but that was the case with this one. And then the card itself, I've already cleaned up and uh, gotten it in a one touch here. This is the clear cut parallel, as you can tell with the transparency here, of McDavid's 2020 Upper Deck flagship card. So I, uh, th this is, like I said, my favorite parallel, I think, potentially going in all of uh, modern hockey. I love the clear cut. They're they're quite rare. Um, they fall at something like four per case or one one per three hobby boxes, and there are hundreds of subjects. Um, so getting any one player is really tough. And I was really happy uh, and felt fortunate to be able to negotiate a price point that I was happy with and the seller was happy with to add the 2020 clear cut McDavid to my collection. This was. You know, I think a very reasonable buy. I paid less than $75 for this. Um, and, and I just um, uh, I couldn't be more happy. Um, I've wanted to add a McDavid to my clear cut collection for forever now. And uh, it's not that easy to do, as you could imagine, due to the rarity and his popularity. So really, really happy that I was able to add the first one. And then the, uh, to my collection, that is. And then uh, the other card, which I'm even more proud of, I felt like this was one where I, I needed to like send the seller a thank you note maybe or something, but I absolutely stole this McDavid off of Sport Lots. Um, I bought this in the month of November, the very month we are in. So it's not like this was a cheap card because I got it, you know, three years ago before he was, you know, doing what he's been doing. This was a very recent pickup that arrived here only, you know, a few days ago uh, as of the, you know, the time that I'm recording this video. Um, as I said, it was purchased in the month of November. It's uh, what I think is a very significant McDavid card. It is his second year Opeechee Platinum, and it is the Rainbow Parallel. So um, check out the shine. Uh, the only etching here is around the border of the player, similar to you know modern Topps Chrome. And I've spoke about this before. And I'll, I'll say it again here, but I really, really think Opeechee Platinum is an underrated hockey card set. It is it is akin to Topps Chrome on the baseball uh, side of the house, in my mind. It's the kind of premier 
chromium product from Upper Deck. It's, you know, been around for, you know, greater than seven, eight years now. And I don't see any sign that it's going anywhere anytime soon. And of course, this rainbow is the equivalent of a refractor, Topps Chrome Refractor. So these are somewhat tough. Um, this is the second year McDavid card. And, you know, he is talented enough a player that even his second and third year stuff can command, you know, decent coin. Um, if you were to go on, on eBay or ComC right now and try to attain one of these, you'd be looking at paying a price point that's, you know, similar to what I paid for this clear cut, probably about $70. Um, in this case, found this one for dramatically less than that, as I mentioned. And I'll actually show you the packing slip here because it's it's almost unbelievable. But again, uh, purchased this, you know, in early November of this year and got this card for $5.95 with uh, 63 cent shipping. So thank you, seller. Uh, thank you, Mr. Rick Vigian, I guess is how you pronounce it. Um, definitely appreciate your willingness to sell that one at, you know, a sub $6 price point. Really, really happy to have that one in the McDavid collection. That's a significant card that is only going to grow more so as he continues to rack up statistics and individual accolades, you know, in the coming years. So uh, two pretty big additions there that both deserve the Ultra Pro One Touch treatment, which is a harder and harder threshold to meet in my collection these days. But um, these cards are both fantastic enough and uh, have enough future promise as well that uh, I thought they both deserved it. So there you go. My two latest uh, significant McDavid pickups. Definitely appreciate you stopping by to check these out. And I will certainly be back in the near future with some more sports card content. Until then, take care, everybody.